good, that feels pretty trashy. One, two, three, four. Why do villains always live in houses built by modernist masters? Modernist masters. Why does Hollywood insist on destroying the city by numbers? by natural disasters. An elemental earthquake, a furnace of a fire, a rippling rainstorm, nuclear bombs, or Martians from the future, a deliberate police force, a mutant storm from a cage, a giant half who's a frustrated actor on a spitball rampage. Are you nostalgic for a time? You could bring up this to every crime. Porch. Frank Lloyd Wright built a whole lot of bungalows. Rudy Schiller and Neutra, they had a great big fun. I know. Two great architects will tell you what that was all about. It's something else in design, where the heart is mastered by the line. All you got is the reflection of what's on the outside. And pure. Say all these houses look the same. Uniform of steel and every frame. You can think about a lot of things waiting for the concrete to cure. I've been thinking a lot about action movies of the 1980s, particularly Die Hard. Die Hard! Which seems to illustrate so many of the anxieties central to a time and place. For example, the Japanese capital, the waning of the Cold War, a pride in the downtown. What did they build it for? A reason from the ashes of a once great neighborhood. All the ghosts of a hell's history was it really ever any good? Are you nostalgic for the time when art and colors told the line? And the timid had an easy smile, is it up to buy it too? Back then, Bruce Willis had some hair. He smoked in airports, no care. In the end, Alan Rickman fell out of a window, but who? Oh, are you nostalgic for a time? You could put a face to every crime. 